All right, everybody, welcome to the Zabe cast. Zabe, Scott Lynn, Al Galdi, and this is all about truck ads. If you want to sell a truck in this country, there's only one way to do it. Insult the penis size of Whoa. every other brand of truck owner. Why is it necessary as being the attack point? Why not say we've got room, we get... Uh, you oh, know, you can point out the virtues of your yeah. truck. But Gas it's, mileage. Sure, but there's it's, a lot of stuff. Cool sound system, yeah. comforts, ride, right. ruggedness. Why does it have to be about, that'll get the, you, about the schwanz? Because that'll get you only so far. I guess. As you're about to see, you're going to see that making sure you ridicule other truck owners is a key part of your marketing strategy. Here's Howie Long for Chevy trucks. Notice Howie has a big, heavy pallet of... Uh, Looks like sand or maybe cement. Could be cement. gravel, could be cement, could yeah. be, uh, you know what, knowing how, it's probably mulch. He's tossing it effortlessly. <laughs> it's a five-pound bag of mulch. Eh? Into the back of his truck. Here's where we pick up the story. I'm just tossing it. <laughs> Love the step. Hey, buddy, you left your little uh, man step down. Would you rather have a Ford F-150 with a man step? Or a Silverado that backs you for 100,000 miles or five years. Now, there you go. I want to rewind here to point out a couple things. Look at what he's got in the He's got a birdhouse. (laughs) He's got a Sally-ass fairy boy birdhouse. Prefab birdhouse. That he's got the tie-downs on. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hey, I'm going to the lumberyard to buy a bird feeder. Honey, I'll be back in a little bit. And now here's his man step. All right, so watch, watch how, watch how. Oh, 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 he almost missed the man step there. I mean, that would have been catastrophic as he comes down. Whoa! <laughs> That's just such a blatant attack. <laughs> all right, it's so, a sexist commercial. All right, I'm going to pause it right here as how he turns him around. Look at this dude. Fat. Yeah. Disheveled. And, yeah. Receding hairline. Guys that we can relate to. Beard. Most of us. Schlep is what he is. And then you look at Howie. What a stud, huh? Handsome. Look at him. Yeah. Yep. Trim. He's got some attractive looking J. Crew action going on. He's got some gloves. And he's just laughing at this dude. Like, you suck. Your penis is so small, it's not even funny. And look at him, he's like, oh God. He look at him shaking his head. Like, I can't believe I left my man yep. step up. I gotta drop the gate. I gotta put up the man step. Then also, I don't know if you wanna rewind it just another touch. Yeah. Just to see the way that the casting director for this commercial has him walking once he gets off the man step. Uh, he's yeah. doing it's almost the like a walk prance. of shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like no, <laughs> dee, 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 dee. no confidence. Yeah. yeah, you know, not, not a man, of course. Yeah. Howie, you know. And there's Howie. Up. It's it's a beautiful so, truck. Okay, now, uh that's one of the ads. It's a series of ads that we're playing uh during the NFL playoffs. Here's another one. New truck? Yep. Real trucker's truck. You know, for truckers. Yeah, by the way, nice tablecloth you're wearing. Yeah. Right, and a yeah. great hat, too. Ah. The hat's almost cropped and bleeds off the scraper, screen. Right, with no logo whatsoever. Uh-oh. How is it on gas? 19 Highway. <laughs> <laughs> 19 Highway. <laughs> now, Howie, I think, is a pretty good actor because watch his reaction. Very natural and great in terms of its condescension. V8? They said V6. V8? Yeah. He's got the quick questions. Everything to poke holes in the proverbial truck owner's balloon. V V8? They gets just... 19 per get. <laughs> what? They Where's should... your vagina? All right. Jeez. They should just replace <laughs> Howie with man. Have fun being a real trucker. <laughs> See ya. Tundra's V6 offers I'll be an EPA your wife in the back of the truck. Oh, what? You don't Chevy think that's what he's American. thinking? No, that I, guy? I don't think so. I think he's yeah. going to go back to his dealer and go, hey, <laughs> I wanted to be a real trucker uh, hey, with uh, my vest and my plaid and my checks all right, so that's and my t- cool hat. All right, so now Chevy has ripped, uh, ripped Ford mm-hmm. and they have ripped Toyota because mm-hmm. that's the Tundra. God forbid you only have a V6. Dodge is going to be a little bit tougher because look at these manly men in the Dodge competition. That's a Ram box. That's pretty freaking cool. That's a Ram box, by the way. You put all kinds of shit in there. Fishing poles. Remains. Manly stuff. Yeah, human remains. Dead hookers. Right. Pretty friggin' cool. You know, you need that space. Put some fishing poles in there. Shovels and hammers and stuff. I could put some potted plants in there. That's not what it's not wrong. You got to drive through fire. Now, right, pause it right here on the explosion. Yeah. 
That's a great shot there, Brock. I do think I do I do think they let average Joes do some this stunts stunt. here. Because watch watch this guy's face as he drives through the stunt explosion. Ready? Oh, <laughs> it's real quick, but still, he look crapless. I can't believe they let yeah. us do that. Right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like ghost. What the? F- I would just sign up for a, a Dodge ad. R rated. It's unbelievable. So we're going to bleep all this out. Yeah, of course we are. I can't believe they let us do this. And, and, and they brought us hookers to bang, no, that's, too. That's not what it says at all. So, to review, if you have a V6 truck, you might as well just buy a box of tampons check and put off. that in the back check of tie downs. Check your package. Number two, if you need a step to get off your tailgate, then you're a complete <laughs> And if you don't believe so, then you challenge Howie Long to a fight. Because he'll whip your ass. He'll beat you with your prefab birdhouse, dude. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. You're a uh, man. You buy, you buy the materials and you take it home. All right. Thanks for watching. Extended version, but we had to get that out of the way. We'll see you next time.